Hi everyone! Today I'm going to talk to you about what I got for my birthday. Um, I suppose I should insert a disclaimer here saying I'm not showing off but a lot of people asked me what I got so I thought I'd do a YouTube video and show you because there's so much blogging potential and all of this stuff and I'm thrilled to pits with every single bit um, that I received and gift and um, I'm just I just want to show you all. Um, so I'm going to start with what my friends got me and then I shall go through to what my colleagues got me and then I shall tell you what my family and Dave's family got me and then I shall tell you what Dave got me. Um, I'm surrounded <laughs> by it all so it might be a bit sort of messy or what have you um, well, as I go through it so I can only apologise for all the mess in the background. Um, so my friends are, have been really, really generous with me. They are so cute. Um, my friend Jess, who owns her own bakery, has actually got me, um, made me some of my favourite cupcakes and they're dairy and gluten free because she's fab like that. She takes my dietary requirements into consideration and um, I'll try not to drop them. There were six yesterday, <laughs> there are now three because I've had one for lunch, dinner and breakfast. Because <laughs> um, you know, that's what adults do. And um, I don't know if you can see properly, but they're like sparkly, um, Earl Grey cupcakes basically. And she's uh, made them for me and they are absolutely delicious. And not only did she do that for me, she got me this and um, Biblo is a shop in my town that sells Kath Kidson and I was absolutely thrilled when I opened this because it's a Kath Kidson trio tea set and I'll just quickly open it up for you. Um, I love Kath Kidson but obviously it's quite expensive so I never really get around to buying any for myself, I only ever buy it for other people so to receive it is brilliant and inside this it's got a little cup and then I'll just remove all the packaging because I'm so scared of breaking this that I haven't actually taken it out of the packaging properly yet. Um, and that goes on a little saucer like that. And, and then there's a little cake <laughs> cake um, plate to go with it. The cat's decided to get on the sofa so if she moves across and you get distracted I can only apologise. So I've got those which is really really sweet of her and really nice of her. Um, and I am, it's like, I'm an adult now, I own a tea set. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. Uh, I'll just put it all back together again because I am, um, I don't know how to store it. I don't want to like just put it randomly in the cupboard. I want it on display because it's just so pretty. But I don't want it broken so I'm try still trying to figure out how I'm going to store this. <sighs> box, box, go back together. There we go. So that was one of my gifts, Kath Kidson. Really love Kath Kidson. So I'm really, really grateful for that. So there we go. And it's it's just lovely. I'm 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 so happy with this. And obviously I can eat my cakes on it, but I haven't yet. <laughs> what are you doing? Um so my other friend Lisa really went to town, she bought me all the things that I've been wanting to try for a while and some other stuff as well so I'll just quickly nip through those. Anyone that follows me on Instagram will know that I've got an obsession at the moment with animal socks and whereas some people are like, oh socks for Christmas, socks for birthday, oh no I don't want that. I love socks, <laughs> I've got an entire drawer dedicated to socks and these ones are elephants, giraffe and a cheeky looking little koala bear and I'm aiming to get an entire zoo so <laughs> I'm really really chuffed with these these are really nice chuffed that's a northern word for you so I really really love these I can go in there for a moment um what else did she get me I've got like a pile of stuff here from Lisa that I need to get through to show you um she bought me this really really nice sort of necklacey scarf type thing I've never actually had one of these so I'm quite interested to see how um I can puck it, put, puck it, puck it, put it with an outfit. Um, it just goes over your head like that really and just sits there. And I'm like, what colour do I wear it with? How am I gonna wear it? So I'm quite interested to see what this is gonna go with. My hair's a mess so I don't mind messing it up. Um, but that's really pretty. And it's from Ribbon and Asher, which I think is, um, oh, the name escapes me, Dorothy Perkins. So I'm really, really liking that at the moment. That's really pretty. 
to go with that she's bought me a couple of pairs of earrings which are gorgeous i especially love these gold ones but they jingle so dave's like don't wear them around me because they're going to annoy me so there's a car pulled up and i think the postman's on his way around as well so i'm going to have to go through all these really really quickly um and then some silvery ones which are going to look great during the day as well quite glamorous and i really really like these um on top of that she bought me some Yankee Candle tartlets, everyone loves a bit of Yankee Candle so why not? Sorry I'm really scared the postman's going to knock on so if I have to get up halfway through this video and enter the door I can only apologise. Um, yeah so some Yankee Candle tartlets, she got me Snow in Love, Midsummer's Night and Midnight Jasmine because they're my favourites or some of my favourites anyway because Yankee Candle everything's a favourite. Um, sorry my hair is such a mess, it's not supposed to be. Um, she got me a little donut lip balm, which again on Instagram I tried to use as a monocle. No, it's not doing it now. I managed to do it the other day for a photo anyway, so you can see through it, which is really fun. And uh, inside it is, if I can open it, is, um, people keep turning up outside my house and distracting me. I'm ever so sorry, I'm going to focus on the camera now. Um, like a pink glittery sort of dropped it <laughs> i'm just gonna leave it there um balm type thing it's closed itself so it's safe um she bought me some anyway eyeshadows this is the innocence trio it's really really nice i haven't swatched them yet but they will be on the blog soon so i'll let you know what i think of those and then she bought me this absolutely gorgeous um envelope clutch bag and it's a great taupe colour with gold detailing on it and actually it's quite funny because I opened it and I was like Lisa it won't open what kind of bag doesn't open she was like no you have to do that so idiot here <laughs> was like oh that's great it means you can't get to your phone when you're drunk and send drunk tweets which is what I do when um, I've had a drink so this is really really good she's road tested it for me as well well road tested it by putting in the shop putting an umbrella in it to make sure an umbrella could fit in it and things like that so she's like thought it through for me which is a good idea because i take loads of stuff out with me when i go out um so i really really love this i'm really looking forward to using this and wearing it with loads of different things uh well accessorizing it with loads of different things um she got me this little friend card which um basically says good friends are so special it's got a little poem on it which i'm not going to read because it always like sort of chokes me up and then um it says thanks for being a good friend at the bottom which is really really special and it's going to go in my purse as soon as i find my purse underneath all of this stuff um so uh, this was really really special and it's really really sweet of her to do that for me um i put that in there and then finally she bought me the accessorized palette which if you'd watched if you've watched my videos not the last one which was the house tour but the what's in my bag video with lisa she had this in her bag and i was like i'm desperate for it i want it i want it i was like i think that was even like the gesture i did so she bought it for me and look at all of those colors that is so much blogging potential right there i am so excited um with this i'm like in awe of it to be honest I don't want to swatch it and ruin it but I'm gonna have to so I got that as well which is really really pretty um what did I say I'd do next my family did I say I'd do my family or my colleagues well I'll go with my colleagues anyway because their stuff is closest to me so I have had quite a few gifts off my colleagues my bosses went to town with me and they got me a bottle of wine white wine and they got me a voucher to spend in the town perfumery we have a small perfumery in my town called Kenrell which sells stuff like Dior and Estee Lauder on the side as well as all of like really sort of vintage perfumes and things um, and it's an independent store I think I don't think it's affiliated with Selfridges or anything so I'm really looking forward to going in there and spending my voucher because there's stuff that I want and I'm like yeah I can't wait to sit, I knock up the Dior stand and go right I'm having this this and this um, which is really really nice um, my other work colleague Rob who I call my work husband because I see him more than I see Dave has gone and bought me this bottle of white wine I know which shop this is from as well because it came in this sort of distinct packaging from this shop and this is a wine shop that specializes in very very high-end wines so um <laughs> I'm reluctant to drink this because 
not because I'm not going to like it, but because I kind of guess at how much it's going to cost and how much it will have cost him. And it's sort of chilling to think that this car, I, well, I'm going to save this for a special occasion because I'm like, I don't, want to, I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to drink it just for the sake of drinking it because that would be like drinking like a vintage Bollinger just because you feel like it. Um, whereas, and, and this is like quite expensive. So I'm, I'm going to save this for another special occasion. Um, my work colleague Alice, who is really cute, uh, she's only 18 and she's saving every penny she can to go to university next year, bought me this little Selfridges box and inside the box, which I'll open for you now, is a um, little gift card and it's the gift of self-indulgence and there's a gift card in there and it says, um, happy birthday Helen, just wanted to say a little thank you for everything and I didn't know what to buy you, so you can choose yourself full ballet's kiss kiss. Which is really, really cute because um, I know how hard she's saving her money. And when she says thank you for everything, um, I think she's referring to those moments where I've gone all sort of big sister on her and gone, why are you not eating properly? Here's some money, go and get some food. Or um, why are you messing around with that guy? He's an idiot. Or like, <laughs> I don't tend to get involved in my work colleagues' lives. I don't see the point in it. but. Uh, with Alice, I just have this like tendency to go, no, don't do that, learn from my mistakes, don't make your own. I sort of have this whole like sort of mothering situation going on with her, although I'm pretty sure she can look after herself. So um, this is really, really cute. Um, and I'm really appreciative of this. And it's worth £10, I think. So I'm going to get something from Tati Divine and put some of my birthday money towards it. So I'm, I'm really, really, really grateful for this. Um, and my then last but not least, by no means least, my friend. <sighs> Sorry, the postman just scared the hell out of me. I mean, genuinely just scared the hell out of me. Um, anyway, last but by no means least, um, my friend Zoe got me some stuff. Zoe is a work colleague of mine. I've been working with her since November and we have such a laugh together. So she's gone out of her way really with this as well. I'm still recovering from that fright from the postman. I knew it was coming, but I didn't know when. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so if you're right for YouTubing, um, basically she's bought me this really pretty necklace. It's from one of my favorite designers, Pilgrim, which I have actually profiled on the blog. Um, I think it's in one of the first months that I was blogging. Um, and it's this beautiful sort of rose goldy um, circular necklace with flowers and diamantes on. So that's really pretty and I can't wait to wear that. Um, she also got me this little um, Victor and Rolf perfume flower bomb. I have the original and when I wear it at work she's always like, you smell like a sweet shop and sniffs me constantly. So she's gone out and bought me this and I remember her saying, I've bought your present off eBay but... I think I was I bought the wrong size. I thought it was cheap and it turned out it was the small version and I was like, oh right, okay, and didn't ask her too much. It turns out it was this. She thought she was buying the full size version and it and it's like this. But um it's actually perfect for going out with. So I'm I'm really, really pleased with this because it's like one of those little sample things that you can sort of just put randomly in your bag. Um so you don't have to take a massive perfume bottle out with you. And this is one of my favourite perfumes as well. So I'm like really, really thrilled about this. Even if she thinks that she got it slightly wrong. Um, and then <laughs> she's got... I love this gift. I love personalised gifts. I'm one of those people that as long as it... If, if it's personalised, I will have it. Um, and she's gone and made me a personalised phone case um, of me and Dave. And it's the only picture on Facebook that doesn't have us rowing, drunk, or scowling. So <laughs> she's pulled it off Facebook and basically that was the result. And it's really, really nice. I, I love things like this. I was holding my phone like this the other day because I opened this early. And uh, Dave was looking at my phone and I said, what are you looking at? And he went, is that me? And I went, no, who do you think it is? Re Enrique Iglesias. Of course it's you. And he was like, ah. Why is there a photo of me on your phone? I was like, because Zoe's bought me a case for my birthday. And he was like, oh, but at least I'm always with you now. And I was just like, 
I'm a boy, honestly. If I could, if I, I can't even explain Dave in a few words, so I'm not going to, but I really, really like that. It's such a nice gift. Um, and then, I, okay, I'll do my family now. Basically, my dad always gives me money for my birthday, so I've gone out and bought myself a couple of things, and then the rest is going on a fridge freezer because that's what adults do. Unfortunately, I can't just spend it all on makeup, which is what I would do if I had a choice, but I don't have a choice, so I have to spend it on a fridge freezer. So I've sort of treated myself to a couple of things, but not a lot. I bought this jumper yesterday. It was 14 99 from New Look. And it says tweet on it because I saw it and I thought that's got me written all over it because all I seem to spend my life doing at the moment is tweeting. So um, <laughs> I got I, I got it. When did I become Scottish? I got it um, for that reason alone. Plus, it's really comfy. It's really soft, and it's gonna it's gonna last me the entire winter. So I really really like this. And then I also bought myself with the money that my dad's given me um, this Mac set i listed it on my wish list and then i thought no sod it i'm gonna get it purely because no one else would have got it for me um and it was just too good of an offer to pass up this set was 31 pound from selfridges it includes this bag it's the mac illustrated by julie verhoven 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 i don't know i can't say it um and inside it includes like three products which when you consider that a mac lipstick on its own can be anything between 13 to 15 pound with mac you know you, you get a bargain for 31 pound and inside there is a creme glass oh no a dazzle glass cream which is like a lip gloss in peach i got everything in peach i got a mac cream kiss cream stick liner and this is in peach as well well i've used it and i've swatched it so that's not looking very particularly uh sharp at the moment and then this absolutely gorgeous and this one is called ravishing absolutely gorgeous sorry um lipstick which is like an orangey corally peach color and i'm really excited to keep wearing this that's really nice and that's my first mac um sorry my nose is running um first mac lipstick so i'm really really excited about this and they're going to be blogged about very soon um so i bought those for myself i bought this and this for myself um out of money that my dad gave me so i'm really really grateful for that my brothers um i got text messages off two <laughs> which in itself is a gift because they just don't bother with anyone generally and then the other two completely forgot. One is in the marine, so obviously I don't expect him to remember when he's got more important things to think about, like staying alive or getting his training done or what have you. And the other one's at uni and was probably passed out somewhere. Can't, I can't ask the world um, of my family because that's just the way they are. And my sister, I don't actually speak to, so I wasn't expecting to hear of her anyway. Um, but my stepmom has, like bless her she came in the house yesterday and she saw all the birthday cards and things but for some reason she thought it was the 15th so she was like all oh, right okay you've opened everything early have you and i was like yeah i've opened it but it's not early and she was like oh right and then like didn't say anything to me i was a bit upset because i was like but it's my birthday why haven't you said anything or like even said happy birthday and then she texted me a bit later on and went Oh my god, it's the 17th. I completely, completely forgot. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, she was two days behind herself, and I, you know, she's a busy woman, so, um, I, it can, it can be forgiven. <laughs> but she's properly, like, gone to town on the gifts because she felt bad, and, um, she ended up getting me an Estee Lauder Subtle Smoky Eyes kit, which the box is on the floor, and I'm not going to lean down to get it, but it basically contains. Um, an Estee Lauder little baggy thing and then some eyeshadows which I haven't swatched yet um, a double wear mascara which I love double wear already but this is in black and I only have it in brown so I'm quite I'm quite interested in how that's going to look um, like a col eyeliner type thing and then um, a concealer um, this concealer is a little bit dark for me. I'm shade number one light. This is light medium. So um, I'm going to have to wait until summer to see if this is going to work because it is going to be quite dark on me, I think. But 
um, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. I love Estee Lauder anyway, um, so I'm, I'm really excited to try all of that out and see if it actually works. Uh, I can have a go at creating a subtle smoky eye. Um, so that was the first present she got me. And then the second present she got me was this absolutely massive box. And this is the Marc Jacobs Dot perfume. I've tried this before in the shop and used testers and things. And this has been blogged about quite substantially by a lot of the more experienced bloggers. Um, this is their new fragrance. And it's quite fruity. It's, it's, quite, it's quite feminine, but it is very, very fruity. It's very, I get black currants and raspberries from it when, I use, when I've smelt it before. Um, it's it's quite fun. The bottle is absolutely amazing. If you look, it's got all these bits, um, and then the tops shaped like a butterfly. Although I think it's meant to look like um, a ladybug, and then it comes with a shower gel and a lotion as well to match. And this, I'm I'm really excited about this because the bottle in itself is a gift. I love beautiful perfume bottles. I collect beautiful perfume bottles, so. I'm really, really excited about that because that's so different and I'm, I'm just really grateful that it's one of the new fragrances um, by Marc Jacobs because I'm not really a fan of Daisy or Lola. Um, Dave's family have been really, really generous with me as well. They've been really, really kind. His dad has said that for my birthday he'll pay for my driving test, which is really, really nice of him because Dave went in a bit of a sulk because he was like, my dad never paid for my driving test and he's paying for yours and I'm like, everyone just loves me what's your problem <laughs> which is really really nice of him and he sent me a little bit of money as well for a driving lesson um and then his nan bought me this absolutely gorgeous little scarf this is from M&S because Norma only shops in M&S um and it it to add to my scarf collection and this is really really warm and comfy and I can't wait to wear this when the weather gets a little bit more chilly than it is now it's really really nice colour it's like um a baby blue sort of grey colour which is really really nice and she also sent me a little bit of money um for driving lessons as well um and then his mum went to town completely bless her i love his mum to bits she has very similar taste to me and a lot of people tell me that i am an absolute nightmare to buy for because i am really really difficult um, not difficult in the sense that if I don't like it I'll throw it back at him and have a tantrum but difficult in the fact that I have very specific tastes in what I like and usually it's much easier to give me some money and tell me to go and get me get myself what I want or you have to know me really well to buy me something because otherwise uh, especially when it comes to clothes and accessories I am really really picky so with his mum having similar tastes to me um, I think it works in Dave's favour a little bit but Caroline and I are quite similar so um She's bought me this scarf and it's like a chocolatey brown colour, although it says Heather on it for some reason. Heather brow. Uh, I wouldn't say it was purpley like Heather, but that's just me. Um, and this is going to go with so many different things because I love wearing natural colours. They're the colours that just seem to suit me the most. So this is what she bought for me. And then um, on top of that, she bought me some new tea, coffee and sugar caddies for the kitchen um, because mine are basically game over for them now I've had them for so long and they're so tatty and horrible and dirty and I just need to get rid of them so she's bought me the tea coffee and sugar caddies which are really really nice and the dead feminine as well which Dave hates so I'm like yes ka -ching, one up on the boy because he won't let me have anything pink in the house so I get these instead and she's also bought me um, a photo holder but I'm going to use it as a jewellery holder I think because it's got these little um, spirally bits which would be great for holding um, earrings like earrings in um, and it basically hangs up like that and it goes on your wall and I think it's really pretty I love things like this vintage looking but not too vintagey because uh, if everything was vintage I think it would end up the house looking like a charity shop because I have quite eclectic taste so just like come in and donate but <laughs> this is really, really nice. I love things like this. I love home improvement things. So I'm really, really looking forward to putting that up. And then Dave's sister. Um, this is a very special and personal gift for me. Um, not because of the what the gift is, but because of the meaning behind the gift. She's bought me this friend's photo frame. Um, I love my slogans and words about the house anyway. Um, everything's covered in a slogan or a word. Um, 
and it's it's got a little love heart there and I'm waiting for um, me, Dave's sister and Dave to be in the same room as each other so we can all get a photo and put it in there and the reason for that is is because Dave's sister is only two months older than me but learning wise she's six if that makes sense she had problems with um, when she was little and since then she's always had learning disabilities and other issues and it's very hard for her to gain like trust people and things like that she's not very she's not very socially adept um, without meaning to sound cruel um, so f it's taken me two and a half years but to receive this it's almost like her way of saying yes we can be friends um, which is really really nice really nice and it's the thought behind it that I treasure more than the gift because I just think in this instance it's it it's just such a nice feeling to know that his sisters accepted me so I'm, I'm really really lovely and loving this this is this is wonderful I obviously appreciate everything that I've got and I appreciate all the thought that has gone into every single gift that I've received but this is like anyone that's been in that sort of situation will just understand how precious this is and then I have I think I've run out no I've still got Dave's um Dave only let me open two well he didn't only let me open two he only got me two to open on my actual birthday because for the past about month or something uh we've been going shopping and he's been buying me little bits here and there that have all contributed to a big gift and a lot of the time a lot of them I've used or I've blogged about already so I'm not going to go through all those again because there's like so much stuff to talk about and this video is already looking like it's going to be on for half an hour which is ridiculously long so I'm just going to quickly take you through absolutely um, the two things that he's bought me that I absolutely love um, and these are the things that he let me open another perfume this is the Boss Nuit um, and it's really 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 beautiful I love this scent so much um, and Dave really loves it too so um, that's why he got me this basically it comes with the body lotion as well um, but this is the bottle it's very light musky floral I don't do florals but this I will do because it's gorgeous um, and it's just so elegant and a bit more grown up than I'm used to wearing really in comparison to the Marc Jacobs dot, this is like a little black dress, whereas that's like a fashion trend. This is beautiful and it's going to be one of my favourite perfumes. I can just feel it. I've got it on now and I can't imagine wearing anything else at the moment. It's stunning. So I'm really, really loving that. And then the last thing is a Pandora charm, which has got a little heart on it with a pink stone. Um, it looks like that. Pandora charms are something that only Dave can buy for me because he, the bracelet he bought me ages and ages ago at the start of our relationship that is something that is very personal to me and him um, it shows the story of our relationship so Dave's the only person that's allowed to buy charms for that for me um, and he chooses all the charms himself as well or they all have a certain meaning for our relationship like the little dice for example means that well, it's like relates to the time he went to Vegas and um, our anniversary stones on there and um, several different things that relate to us are on there so it's like yeah it is the story of our relationship in a bracelet I suppose so he got me this and this is like my 24th birthday I suppose um, and it's also his way of saying I love you in the form of a charm and that is it this is go this is such a long video i can only apologize and i can't edit yet so you're just gonna have to skip through anything that you're not um interested in etc etc so um i'll leave you with that one and thank you for watching i've had such a good birthday and i hope you'll have a brilliant day let me know if there's anything um you want to see blogged about specifically and i will get back to you on that Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye.